Alright, what's going on dudes, and welcome back to Minecraft. So I'm actually back on the uh, Voxelbox server, and since you guys seem to really like my redstone creations, I thought rather than just go about and show kind of structural creations, that I'd show another redstone creation, and this is one that sort of boggles my mind. Uh, it's right in front of me here, and it's really complicated. And, um, <laughs> so rather than me actually going ahead and trying to explain this, because I really don't quite understand how it works, I've actually got the guy who, uh, who made it with me here. And so what we're going to do, well, basically in short, is it's a ticker display where you can actually program letters into it, um, frame by frame, and then they will just display across this little array of, of breadstone repeaters. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to, uh, program in... My last name, Sparkles. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's try doing this, man. All right. Well, first we have to choose the uh, frame that we want to do. We have uh, eight of them. Uh, Just enough choose... for Sparkles. <laughs> yep. Frame one. Uh, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna push the buttons and make your name or make your uh, first letter light up here. Pretty simple. We have an S. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the enter button and that should store that letter. This uh, does take a second because it's redstone and we all know how slow that is. Fair enough. <laughs> so <laughs> basically how, like what exactly does it do? So we, we arrange my letter here and then when you hit that button, what exactly, how exactly does it take like the info right here and put it into the memory? Yep, all right. Well, basically, we have memory right on the back of the console, which is the green here. Uh, beyond that is uh, a timing system. It normally holds the redstone in the on state. So when you hit the button, if it is on, it will stay on. If it's off, it'll turn off and turn on a torch. Uh, it pulls from each vertical slice here at a time and pretty much just moves it over here at the same time that it is allowing signal into this memory. So as long as you have that chunk selected, it will program it from one to the other. Okay. It's basically like redstone copy and paste. It's kind so. of kind of immense. All right. <laughs> so now we just need to uh, keep going down the line. Do yep. do the P Res next. So reset the console. Move on to the next frame of uh, that okay. we want to pr program. And then we're gonna put in a P. All right. God, my brain is just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, I wrecked my brain pretty hard uh, building this one. Dude, I can't even imagine how you, like, came up with this thing. Just, jeez. Well, uh, I can thank uh, Featherblade for some of it, because I have another one that's just immense, and it pretty much does the same thing. But he kept hounding me for space consumption, because it was just so big. So, I uh, took some cues from Ridge Dog and his use of repeaters, and... Just compressed it down to something a little smaller and more manageable. Okay. And just to clarify, those guys are, are also admins on the Voxel box. Just FYI. Okay, anyway. Um, so did that, that store right there? Yep, that's uh, in there. Okay, so now we can go on to the next frame and put it in A. Right? Yep. Okay. Hopefully this goes pretty quick. There's a lot of quiet periods while we're pushing buttons. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to enter that one. Make sure I'm on three. Okay. All right. And the load bar is to help us determine how far it is in loading so we don't... Wait, you actually have a load bar? Stuff. Yep, that's what these uh, lights are back here behind the enter button. <laughs> They're God. signifying how much data has been input. Oh my god. This is so amazing. Okay, so what, once those stop blinking, it means it's good? Yep. God, that, that like reminds me of loading a map in, <laughs> in a game. <laughs> so we're good then. Okay. Yep, we're on to the next frame. All right. Now we got to do an R. Also, the entire creation is uh, color-coded. There's signs over on the side of the display if you're uh, interested on in what each section does. 
okay. and why it's there. The red equals bus. The blue equals timing. Gold equals memory control. Green equals memory, and white equals reset. I'm kind of confused on on that terminology, but fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the buses are basically data transfer circuits. They're uh, wires between the different portions of the machine. Uh, the whites control the resets of the memory cells. That's why they're specifically uptight against the memory. And the uh, blue controls timing throughout the whole the whole system. Right. See, I, I basically, like, I, I sort of consider this like a, a computer of sorts in that you made it so anyone can actually enter what they want to enter. It's just that they don't necessarily understand exactly how every part works which is how my computer is i know i know how to <laughs> click my mouse but i don't like actually know what is going on in under the the metal casing <laughs> yeah i i think we're it's all just, there it's just sort of magical just kind of kind of happens you know <laughs> okay so when i k all right so does that look k enough or that looks it looks like it's lopsided somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me let me retry that K. Okay, so you but just hit like a, a reset button? Yep, uh, there's a specific reset for the console, and there's uh, separate resets for the actual memory itself, because uh, I wanted it so if you did make a mistake, you didn't have to go so far back. Okay. All right, that looks like a K with the exception of the torch right here. Yeah. And since I can't hit buttons. All right, there um, we go. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah>. okay, so <laughs> enter and all right, loading, Load. loading, we'll loading, loading. All right, so yeah, I'll probably go ahead and fast forward through the uh, the last few letters and then we'll go ahead and we'll actually like get this thing going. So yeah. All right, so now that we've entered the last letter of my name, so how do we actually like get it to uh, get to display once it stopped loading? Uh, we'll come down here and hit the uh, play button. It starts a timing cycle that pretty much displays whatever's in the memory. So okay, whenever you're it, ready. Does it just go through once, or do you repeat it? I'm sure you have options. <laughs> uh I left it this way for lag issues and multiplayer and yeah. So it just goes through once. Yep. All right. Let's uh let's do it. All right. Here we go. It's uh a little glitchy. I still have some timing issues to work out with it. That looks just fine to me. So obviously it's, it's a little laggy because we're in multiplayer, but I mean, that's that's my last name. God, that's so gratifying. <laughs> oh my God, that's so spectacular. Okay, let's um, I think here can we hit play one more time and I'll 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 take a look over the uh, the actual like memories uh, and stuff yep. as it's going. Here you go. God, <laughs> so amazing. The things you can do with redstone, seriously, like, God. It's it's truly amazing. I, I have a lot of fun with it. Pretty much that's all I do on here. All right. Well, you know what? I think I think that about does it. Thank you very much for showing me all uh, this all this awesomeness. Man, Thank you. I really wish I could hit the button to do the honors, but my buttons <laughs> don't work. Ugh. All right. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. 
Um, if you have, it would be awesome if you wouldn't mind taking half a second uh, to leave a rating. And also, on top of that, Woody's channel will be linked in the description. He, uh, he uploads, well, videos of his creations and whatnot. So if that's of interest to you, give him some motivation to post some more stuff um, if he has more of an audience. So yeah, channel is linked down there. And other than that, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.